Hey guys, it's me, Lucretia. Thank you once again for tuning in to another episode of Candid Conversations. You keep joining me and I appreciate your support. So today's candid topic is going to be a tough one. It's not necessarily something that I even want to talk about, but it came up in prayer so I'll address the topic. It's going to come from the book of Exodus 20, verse 3, and it simply says, you shall have no other gods before me. Does that ring a bell? Absolutely. So today's candid topic is idols. God says, I'm coming for the idols. A couple of years ago, I was on my way to a prayer meeting in the very early hours of the morning. And suddenly I heard the words, I don't know, it resonated. I'm coming for the idols. And I'm like, okay, what is that supposed to mean? And immediately the story of Rachel and Jacob and Laban and Leah in the Bible in X, in Genesis chapter 31 began to play in my mind. And in this story, Jacob was finally tired of his father-in-law playing games with him, manipulating his wages. He had worked for one of his wives for seven years, and then he had to work for another wife for seven more years. So after a while, Jacob was tired of it. So he gathered his wives together and the children together, and he made a plan and they escaped during the night. But Rachel decided to remove her father's idols from his house. Jacob's wife, Rachel, she decided to leave, but she said, I'm going to take these idols with me. So of course, Laban, the father-in-law, comes searching for them after three days and immediately he begins to search for the idols. He could not find the idols because Rachel remained on the camel and she told her father-in-law a lie so that he would not search her so that he could find the idols. I just thought that that story was very, very interesting. And of course, it speaks to me from a different place because the Bible says, God says in his word that we are not to have anything or anyone above him. We are supposed to love the Lord our God with all of our hearts, with all of our mind, with all of our strength, and with all of our souls. And anything in anyone else in our lives that are competing for that space in our life is probably something that we are idolizing. We don't always like to talk about this, but... Of course, we're not carrying around wooden idols, not in 2020. That's not what we're doing. But is it a possibility that we're idolizing relationships? Is it a possibility that we're idolizing our careers? What about our gifts? What about our talents? What about success? What is that one thing that if God asked you, if he asked me to give up, that I would hold on to for dear life because it's become an idol in my life. I don't think that God is opposed to blessing us. He is an amazing father and he loves to bless us. But those things that he has entrusted to our care, when they become an idol and when they become more important to us, than he is to us. And when they begin to occupy places in our hearts that God no longer has, then it's become an idol. So in 2020, I am here to tell you that God is coming for the idols. So let's just relinquish the idols today. 
All right, this is Lucretia, and thank you for tuning in, for watching and subscribing. And please tune in again for another episode of Candid Conversations. Bye-bye, until next time.